Hello everybody, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Good O oh, Red Dead Redemption 2, we are back in it. Alrighty. Getting right back into our cowboy ways. Do, 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 do. Oops, everybody. I did not want to make that sound. I was looking at something on my phone. But just to make sure, you know, the recording's going, timer is going. Taking a while to load on up, man. <laughs> That's all I hear is the disc going, yeah. like slowing down. Alrighty. Let's look at the map. Bill. You know what? I'm gonna talk to this guy. I don't know. I don't forget this guy's name. How to say it? Is this the guy over here? On the who's leaning on the tree right over here? Nah, well, I'm not busy at all. You think I'm just some effete buffoon? A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've, I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Yeah. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. Okay. I forget the controls again. I don't know why. I'm like, I keep, I'm so used to tapping t the touch button for other games that. It, in this one, it it doesn't require that. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things. I had quite an 
nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Usually. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. I'm gonna hitch the horse right here. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. All right, I'll hang back a little bit. Do I just hang right here? you been dandy and you friend uh, like I said times are tough my missus is a bad woman terrible woman they often are but how's work Alden terrible wages got cut again they reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us yeah, they've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel the whip this of bosses I know my comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty a discouraged man is no man at all Alden no man at all my friend Arthur here has a present for you Uh, pay Alden. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah. If you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. What the hell is that all about? Huh. What the hell? I said the exact same thing. <laughs> okay, I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. I said the exact same thing as Arthur did. Um, I'm like, what is that all about? Wait. Okay, let's go this way. Station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. Yeah. Ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Yeah. Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. So, 
Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Oh, pigs. A lot of pigs. Or wild boars, I should be saying. This is the spot. Easy. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. So I just gotta stay right here? Wait for the coach? Oh, the coach is right there. Is right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And... Please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Shit. I gotta stay back. I gotta stay back. I'm just gonna... Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. <laughs> okay, what do I? I'm just gonna get up here. Please don't spot me. There we go. Got it. One more time from the top.
Okay, so do I just leave undetected? Okay. You, you don't want to be quiet! Madam, I've heard enough. Might I have your cards? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. That was a good spot where I had my horse right here. That was actually not not bad spot. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Okay. Visit the information about coaches carrying valuable cargo. Okay. No, back. Map. Okay, where's... Where's... Where's the camp? I have no idea where we just went. What? Where's camp? Check the map. Okay. Um... What am I supposed to do? Oh, there's camp. I was like, where is it? It wasn't showing up. Now, come on. Like, it literally was not showing up. Who's there? It's me. It's me, Charles. You, I'm going to put the horse right over here. Okay, who do we have at the camp? Leopold Strauss. Strauss needs to speak to you. I'm going to talk to Bill. Hey, Arthur! 
I'm on my way, Bill. I'm right here. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alrighty, everybody, I gotta end the video here. Um, sorry for the short video, pretty much, uh, but my dad is calling me. But it might be something important, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please drop a like, comment, and please do subscribe. It does help a lot on the channel. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out, and goodbye.